Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And it's getting late in the afternoon. I have swipe tools. I have Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatulas. There's my number one. And that is available on my Amazon link under the link tree under the video. This is just one of a set of silicone hair tools, coloring things. This is a skewer with some clear duct tape and um, a piece of acetate. I just made it thinner and then wrapped it around the handle. Those are going to be my swipe tools, I think. That is my OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula. And I am not sure when I'm going to get around to my edges. I'm going to use some Prussian blue and some Decorate Americana 24 karat gold and see how I like the combination. And it's bound to be green, isn't it? Because it's yellow. <laughs> yellow and blue. But I do know that the Prussian blue often will sell. And I can always add something else to it. It's also so strong that a little goes a long way. And did. So there's my first part of my experiment. And where is my purple flash from Folk Art? pretty much disappeared. I'll have to remember that works that way. I'm constantly experimenting. I'd like it to stay, but I probably should have cleaned the blade of my spatula off. So there's a sort of a modeled background. It occurs to me if I put dots on a lot of times, I'll be able to stroke. I'll be able to leave some striations, some marks down through. So I should wipe that spatula off before it gets used for anything else. So the top half of this is going to be a different combination of the Venetian blue. The lighter color has the Anita's white metallic in it. I'm just basically trying to give myself some background colors, but I like to play so much along the way that sometimes I stop and save something, but we'll see how it goes. I'm going to use some of my maiden white. And what was the color I was planning on using? Um, <laughs> oh boy. Maybe some silver. I never use silver. Let's use some silver. And I love the purple. That's not really dark enough. It's also not a different enough color. If I do the white, I can do... I've not, I have not tried that combination of my uh, maiden white and my neon purple from folk art which always requires or at least is best seen after it's dry having encountered white during the painting process i will also wipe that off okay so here goes nothing am i going to do this like this i have a little scoop tool i know i do so, like I said a lot of times, you can make your own little shovel from packaging. And I want a fairly even amount of paint without using a squeeze bottle. Maybe I could do black. Maybe a little more. Did I say these were my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas? I could swipe that down there really easily. So the whole plan was to use those, those uh, swiping tools. And now I just want to play some more. I'm going to push this paint right up. Looks like a cloud bank over some kind of lake to me. It looks like a scape is trying to, 
trying to come about. Which is not really what I had in mind at all, but that's okay. Okay, so now where are my tools? My tools are here. Maybe come out or don't. Darn. <laughs> grab my tweezers. My tweezers are very sharp and they're stainless steel and they're a great tool to have in your arsenal because they will clean the tip out of something in fairly short order and if there's a big plug you can put them in and twist them around and it will pull out that big plug. This one needs to have the threads cleaned out. I'm thinking that if I use the Prussian blue. It goes my silver right across the top. And then I think I'm going to put some black underneath it. Or some blue. But I have enough blue. Okay, so let's do the black. <laughs> I'm so indecisive right now. Let's leave some white. I don't think the white will get left. I don't want a straight line, so I want it a little wobbly. And then I'm still going to use the neon folk, the neon purple from Folk Art. So let's go. Let's take my little weird tool. See how far down that can go. I don't know if I can put enough pressure on that to pull it down very far. It seems to go up just fine though. So now we'll try another tool. I don't do them all side by side. I like to leave a little something in between. Since this is an experiment, all bets are off. Including whatever we leave in the background. Actually, I like a slightly more jagged horizon line. How many different shades of color can we get? I don't mind leaving some of that background. I want to use my other spatula too. See how that works as well. I'm liking this. This is fun. The big one needs to dig in a little bit more. I am making sure that the, the line is uneven. I love the blue in the background. I think I'm going to wipe that off before I use it again. I like the little bits of purple. Let's see if I can go, you know what, I'm going to use the edge. drag through a few things. Just freely experiment. I want to use my little tool again and put my finger down on it and see if that makes a difference. Because I know it will. Oh, I like that jaggedness there. That's pretty cool. Do I want a little bit of black? Let's put some black right on there. I could probably put some white right on there too. Why don't we do that? <laughs> Where though? I, 
don't know where. I'll do it right there. Push that up and bring it back down again. Wow, that was a rather large lump of something that did not belong. I'll just have to go through there twice. Go back to this little tool again. Black didn't make me as happy as I thought it would. No gold. Wow. I'm going to steal a little bit of paint. Put it right in that little canvassy showing thing. Steal a little paint again. Since I've got that extra paint on there, That'll be helpful. Well, it's not a keyhole swipe. I've got enough paint on my little silicone tool to do my edge. I might still want to drag some things through. It's hard not to swipe sideways or drag sideways so that it unearths some canvas. So you have to really be focused on holding it right, the right side up. I really like the idea of putting that in there. Don't ask me why. I could pretty happily also go through and add a little turquoise just because I really like turquoise. But I like that blue right there. Let's see if I can get away with a little bit of mysterious. If it's not necessary, I won't go for it. It's just so subtle. Just a little here and there. Slight variation. That's just a really dark and very iridescent turquoise. Just something to add a little tiny bit of variation on the colors. Make it a little more rich. So this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying thanks for joining me. If you're interested in winning a painting, you might want to make a donation through PayPal or Patreon, and you can be automatically entered in the monthly drawing to win a painting, and you can see which paintings are being offered on the exhibition video on the end screens of any video. You can also ask me. I like being asked. Then I can share things to the community board. Pretty much, if you want to see the dry photograph of something and it's not edited, you can ask me, and that's incentive for me to edit it which is not always something I get around to in a timely fashion. But the photographs that I have edited are shared with you in the albums on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors, which is a Facebook group on my link tree. My link tree is under the video. And under the link tree is my email address. Should you want to purchase an artwork, or reserve a class or get some information about a class or get, just get some information about an artwork. Purchasing artworks is by far the best way to support the studio because they're not inexpensive. My collectors are protected by my price policies and uh, I'm all, always willing to add any of my artworks to my Fine Art America or Pixels.com and you can find those links on, under the link tree also and uh, then it become, they can come, become prints. This might look good on a pair of leggings, and leggings and all over print t-shirts are available on the Teespring, the clothing that's underneath the video. I love the really big cells, but I want a little dot of black in there. Why? I don't know. Just because, I guess. Same thing. Wait, you know what? I want some purple over there. That just makes me want to add dots. Just a couple, right? Just a couple few.
Yeah, I don't think that's going to hurt anything. I really like this. I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. Tell you guys thank you for all the wonderful comments you leave me all the time. Thank you for the donations that help keep me painting all this time. I really appreciate that too. I love you guys. I'm so glad you're here. If you're subscribed and you've been here a while, thank you so much. If you're a brand new subscriber, please be welcome. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I would love to have you. And so would the rest of my my audience, I'm sure. I've got an edge to cover on this top half, I just noticed. But that won't be too hard. I have over 1,800 videos going on 1,900 videos. And you can find them. You can access them through my YouTube channel. My channel banner is the place to find PayPal or Patreon should you want to make a donation. You can also find the links on my link tree to make a donation. And I prefer PayPal. Uh, so the you can find the playlists of videos on all playlists and created playlists or you can ask me for a genre. They're separated into lists of 1800 a piece and topic and genre. If you if you appreciate what I do giving me a thumbs up helps my standing on YouTube so I appreciate that. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for watching them longer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching the commercials. Thank you for watching when the notifications come out and um, make sure you don't forget underneath the link tree is Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. Twitter kind of useless to me but Pinterest has videos for tomorrow and Instagram has the dailies. Most of them. In, in a couple of days, when I paint like three or four paintings in a day, then they go on Instagram. Don't forget my email. I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I'm going to zoom in really fast. I like this. I don't know how dark that purple is going to be tomorrow. It might be very dark. But look at those. Look at that nice pattern just I don't know if the silver will show up I almost never use silver but like I said this would make the nice I could stack these and make a really cool all over print t-shirt I think and it will dry a little bit darker okay so you guys take care of each other take care of yourselves bye for now Priscilla out